everybody i hope you're doing well and welcome to the platform of coacher so today we will be solving the problem happy kids the difficulty level for this problem is simple and there are no prerequisites required whatsoever to solve this particular problem so this is the data ansh and i hope you like my video let's move on to the problem statement okay so to understand the problem statement basically rachel had some candies and she decided to distribute them among n kids The I kid receives AI candies. The kids are happy if the difference between the highest and the lowest number of candies received is less than x. So basically, the question is saying that we have a n length array. So my n length array. So see my array is a1, a2, up till a n. And the question is saying the kids will be happy if the difference between the highest and the lowest number of candies received is less than x. So basically, if the maximum value of this array Minus the minimum value of this array is less than x, then my kids will be happy. So I have to find out whether my kids are happy or not. So let's just see and understand this particular problem statement via some examples. So here I have my five as the array and six as the x. So here you can see the minimum value is one. So minimum value is the one and maximum value is eight. So eight minus one, which is seven. And since my seven is not less than six, that's why my kids are not happy. So I'm printing no. Similarly, for my second test case, I have my three array. So the maximum value being nine. So I have a maximum value being nine, and the minimum value being two. So nine minus two, which is nothing but seven. And since in my second case the value of x is ten, since my seven is less than ten, my kids are happy, and hence I'm printing yes. So let's see how we can approach such a problem. Okay, so now the approach of this problem can be simple as that. Just we can take the array. So take my initial array A. I can just simply sort my array so that my values are arranged in the increasing order. And then what I can do is simply once I have my sorted array, I can just take the first element as a minimum element, and I can take the nth element or the last element as the maximum element. And the difference generated will be nothing but a n minus a one. And if my this particular difference is less than my x, then I'll simply print yes because the kids will be happy. Otherwise, if that's not the case, so for else I'll print no. Okay. So this becomes the approach for this problem. Now let's see how we can code this particular approach. Okay. Now let's try to understand the code for the following problem. So first. We define all the required header files, and this is nothing but my fast I/O template. So I just use the fast I/O template. Now what I can do is, so I mean, first it is for fast input output. Then for my t-test cases, I just take my integers required and the numbers, and I can simply take the input according to the input format. So I just took an NX, and I took my array input according to the input format. Now as I discussed in the approach section, simply sort the array, and if my Maximum element, which is the last element in the sorted array, and the first element in the sorted array, which is the minimum element, is less than my x. Then my answer is simply yes. Otherwise, my answer is no. And now let's run the following code in our sample test cases to check whether everything is working correctly or not. So as you can see, everything is working correctly. Now let's run our code on the actual test cases. So as you can see, we got the correct answer for the following problem, and yes, this becomes a valid approach. So let me show you Python code as well. This is the Python implementation for the following. We do the exact same thing. We take my n and x and array for my each test case. We just sort the array, and then if the maximum minus minimum is less than x, then yes. Otherwise, no. So yeah, this becomes the approach for the problem. Now, one thing I want to discuss is where people could go wrong with this particular problem. So I think for this particular question. If in, if everyone is clear with the approach and the observation, I don't think there's any syntactical or logical error that people can make in this particular problem. So yeah, I hope you like my video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.